Well, again, hello. Thanks for joining us for our unveiling of our Think Tank and Retreat this year. I'm Jen Barbie. I'm uh, co-founder and chief of industry relations for Destination Innovate. I just want to take you through <clears throat> some of our thinking and how this different type of, um, I don't want to call it a conference. It really is a Think Tank and Retreat, but how this came about with our team. So I'll get into it. So really, uh, uh, not going to be a surprise to anybody how compressed we are with everything we're doing in our destination marketing organizations, you know, as things continue, continue to pile on and just building that pressure. And, you know, a lot of places are thinking about like how they support their team members better, how they give them the space to innovate, you know, what these conference experiences are like now and how that can evolve a little bit. And this is just a partial list, I'm sure, of anybody listening of all the things and all the additions and all that kind of piece that we have to work with on a daily basis. So first, we kind of think about, like, how do we address from our standpoint and where in the industry can we be a best of service to help with some of this compression? And then coming out of the conferences, you know, what you notice is these very crowded spaces and a lot of the a lot of the sessions are pre-programmed, pre-paid for by vendors. So you don't get a lot of individual attention. And we just feel like, you know, again, that space to collaborate, to actually have a real think tank environment instead of just, you know, speeding through sessions is something we want to explore. And since innovation is in our name, we kind of asked ourselves, what if we had the space to create expression flow through sharing ideas in a peer think tank environment with some amenities too, some s'mores and stargaze, stargazing, some mindful vision questing, little woo-woo with our wellness, if you will. So we feel like, you know, for this piece that we, we created is to add a little play into our productivity. There's so many studies out there talking about how gamifying or creating other environments uh, increases productivity, really increases the retention of what you learn from each other as a peer group. So we felt like this should start as a very intimate 20 participants that can gain insights from each other, from some of the major issues, but also create a safe space for vulnerability and empowerment and self-discovery and self-learning. For us, it's about forging connections, finding courage and embracing change. So we created Travel and Transformation, a think tank and retreat. Uh, the first one will be in Scottsdale, Arizona, the weekend after Labor Day, September 5th through the 8th. And we do weekend because there's a lot of personal development in here as long as well as think tank environments and curated experiences. So the days in our mind will be relaxingly filled with activities, not a run, 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 but a, a space to be able to learn from each other, from our, from our think tank environment, but also learn from ourselves and look within. So we've chosen Andaz in Scottsdale, Arizona as our retreat location, gorgeous, just retreat space. As you can see here, just a few pictures of this resort that's got its specific casitas in it, space to really be part of, no stodgy conference rooms. We did not want a stodgy conference environment. The meeting spaces that are inside are all glass, so you still have that nature feel to it. And we will have some inside because in September, it's hot here in Arizona. But we're gonna create this space where it's super comfortable and super collaborative at this resort. So talk a little bit about the brand we came up with. This is our travel and transformation brand. It was really inspired by an interpretation of the yin yang. You know, our light and our dark and, and those two sides of ourselves, our professional, our personal, if you will, and embracing the balance of harmony in all aspects of our being, of our work, of our team members, igniting this journey of self-discovery, peer discovery, and holistic transformation. We also want to make this easy. So we're going all-inclusive as traditional retreats do. So all-inclusive means just get here. And then everything else is taken care of from your accommodations. You're not booking rooms separately. You know, we're creating a concierge environment where we're doing all of that for you. Of course, amazing meals in the Sonoran Desert. Um, don't even have to worry about getting from the airport to the resort. That's something we'll take care of. And then curated activities and workshops is really where I feel like this special sauce of what we're creating is. So a little more into what the casitas look like, private patio, 
beautiful natural light, no rush, no hurry, just gentle inspirational journey of intimate happenings based on your self-development and a think tank environment. I mentioned the curated agenda. To me, this is really where it becomes so important because it's not a conference of how many people can we pack in, you know, let's just throw those brand logos on the wall and give everybody, you know, four or five sessions at the same time to choose from. In our piece, we are drawing from industry experience, personal insights, and your application, because this is an application retreat. So that session will address specific needs and interests, pain points, those sort of things of all of our participants. Here's a little bit how that looks like. So this is just some persona pieces, you know, for the social butterfly, for the self-reflector, and for the over-planner. Again, in that application, we'll get lots of good information. And then our concierge will have a meeting with you to drill down even more on some of those sessions. But if you notice, there's a lot of shared activities, of course, with our networking, our breakfasts, uh, setting intentions in our workshop. But then there's some variations possibly uh, for our different attendees, for our guests, and for what they need. So for instance, for the social butterfly, you might be doing introspective meditation while the self-reflector is working in artistic workshop and the over planner is doing a little sound healing. So those things start to start to merge together and our think tanks will be smaller groups based on, and I'll talk about those in just a second, but based on what they can contribute, what they're interested in, where they're stuck. So those, those think tanks will be much smaller. Think an elevated round table. <clears throat> those will be much smaller. And also the learnings that come from those will have a scribe in each one of those think tanks. Those learnings also come back to you, come back to your team members, back to your stakeholders. So I really love an example of this, um, <clears throat> these curations for you. And there's, you know, you come in one day, you have two good, strong days. And again, we're not going to over plan you because we're going to agree on your agenda too before you come. So if you're like, oh, I'd like a little more space for this or after the think tanks, I really want to go and do some unpacking at the pool. So we wanna make sure there's space. And again, this is the most successful specific retreat and think tank just for you. Some of the think tank topics, and of course these will be finalized based on interest and demand, but ethical leadership and tourism, authentic guidance, inclusive oversight, adaptive management, crisis leadership, succession planning. And I won't read the rest, but again, <clears throat> what we wanna do is make sure that you're getting good, hard, work and topics and conversations done in an environment that allows space and creativity in the retreat. We call it our environment and your experience. And uh, these are, we work with several DMO leaders to create this and kind of push these ideas out and ask if this is something they would really like to see and if something they want for their, uh, their employees and their attendees. Uh, and DMOs are really saying it's increasingly important to invest in our people and the totality of their personal and professional development. We really think about uh, employee retention as frontline employees because those are hard to keep, you know, to keep filled. So restaurant employees, front desk clerks, you know, hotel service and so forth. But our destination marketing leaders and our up and comers, so to speak, really need that, that support as well. Because once we train them up and we get this great knowledge and we have these wonderful leaders, we have to remember most of our DMOs, almost all of our DMOs are nonprofit or government. So the salaries are not as big as necessarily corporate salaries. So to keep our, our knowledge base and our, our piece in the DMO, we really feel like it's important to invest in the totality of a person. Our ideation later uh, here, again, just is needing that space to connect. What I heard from a lot of DMO leaders coming out of um, conference season was re we're really saying it was hard to get a lot of the sessions. A lot of them were sales pitches. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, this is a no sales event as well. We don't want you to be bothered with, you know, check out this tool or that tool, or I'm going to follow up with you a hundred times after this. This is really for you guys. We are just facilitating but giving that space to connect, what I hear is the best thing I take back from other conferences are the conversations I have outside of just these talking head sessions where you're sitting back and being passive and a talking head is part of it. That's a complete opposite of what we're creating here. And then with the impact, um, 
know, we really do feel like, and <clears throat> DMO leaders have supported, it's such a breakthrough concept, an event like this to learn from one another and look within, again, is a space that we want to connect for you guys. And by the end of the retreat, you'll have candid conversations with think tanks also. We have roundtables. Sometimes we have spirited conversations, but we're going to really pressure you to go super deep and have those tough and meaningful debates that can bring out demonstrative strategy and tactics for those <clears throat> those different topics. And then just a few amenities that you can be part of or not, but we love s'mores and stargazing. And if you've ever been to Arizona, Phoenix, Scottsdale, I mean, we have the best skies. <laughs> so a little bit of fun too with something like s'mores and stargazing. There are other activities that you can uh, tap into if that's not your thing or some replacements there as well. But s'mores and stargazing, I personally love. I'll be there. I'd love to see you there. Poolside future shaping, I mentioned it is going to be a little warm in Arizona. So throughout the day, when we have these sessions, we can have a snack and a drink, take a dip with those around you and have some poolside chats as opposed to fireside chats, if you will. And then again, there's lots of different activities, but one of the ones that's really gauged popularity to in training high performing leaders is sound healing. Uh, it's an ancient meditative practice that we will be offering uh, along with others um, as well. And then there's other activities, again, depending on <clears throat> your application and what you're most interested in, you know, everything from dance fusion to guided journaling to tequila tasting to yoga. So a little bit for everybody. That's what I'm saying. Like if you want to go deeper within, there's those, those opportunities. If you just want to have some fun when you're not doing the think tank stuff, Lots of activities there as well. And just a few things that we feel like inspire this, awaken, discover, lead, and renew. And I just want to, <clears throat> from that, kind of take you through what this looks like. Again, in Scottsdale, September, completely curated, basically a conference just for you specifically, limited, exclusive to only 20 attendees. And I want to let you know kind of what this looks like when I choose this retreat over another conference, an example industry conference. You're surrounded by salespeople. <clears throat> you have a pretty significant conference fee, plus room nights, plus resort fees, plus food and beverage outside of your conference chicken, which I promise not to have for you. <laughs> uh, ground transportation, activities, souvenirs, and your time to organize travel. As opposed to the retreat, which, you know, um, a standard retreat, just doing personal development with this type of this type of curation and this type of piece is well over 6,000. We were able to work with our suppliers and our vendors to get this down to an all-inclusive cost of 4,600. Bringing your significant other allows an even uh, more affordable double occupancy ticket. So with that, we feel like it's feed your brain and your soul. Think tank environment, emphasis on connections and camaraderie, wellness activities, creative, creativity, innovation, open communication, collaboration, and a safe space, no sales pitches. And our applications will be open later in today. And I would love to take any questions or comments anybody has. <laughs> Sign me up for poolside future gazing. Me too, Holly, I will be there. Awesome. And I do want to just, as I mentioned, uh, Destination Innovate has really been thinking about where, where in these types of services we can fit in. So while we're unveiling this, I'm going to go a little further and unveil our transformational suite. Because I did miss telling you guys who we are at the beginning. And I think most of you know, a lot of you are friends, but we're a boutique transformation agency. We create spaces for the tourism industry through transformation, amplification, and innovation. So that can be a lot of different pieces, but we've been very keen on this transformation suite, which this retreat is part of, because we really feel like that is what is needed for personal and professional development happening right simultaneously. So the collection for our transformation services are quite unique, actually. I'm super excited about talking about these with you. So we feel like moods and roles dictate success. And I know you personally are listening to this too, and probably thinking, you know, you've got a case of the Mondays, it's that, it's that Bessie, it's that coach, it's that collaborator that pulls you back to what you need to focus on and, and really lying collaboration and not alienation. 
So what our services look like is we have just opened up our VIP days, which is now where most clients start with us. So a VIP day is think about what we just talked about with this think tank and retreat and pair that down into a VIP day. A little more expanded for your own DMO or your own environment. We also offer think weeks. Now think week comes from Bill Gates' famous think weeks where he goes off, no devices, no tech, and really does his hard thinking work. We've created something similar for DMOs. And again, a little like the retreat and everything I went through, which is take a step back, dig in. We have a strategic plan. It's sitting on the shelf or we're not exactly sure how to move or what happens if we pivot. Think Week is going to take care of that personal and professional development as well. We also have in-house agency program planning, uh, planning. As we do some agency work, we're more moving towards helping empower DMOs and empower organizations to take their agency in-house. There's so many tools now that it's not necessary to do it the traditional way we did, we've done it before. We also have found some opportunity that's really been asked for in the industry yet for vendor retreats. So getting your multiple vendors together, getting all on the same page instead of fighting for different factions of budget, again, is something we feel like is transformational to offer. And that those are our pieces of that. And we would love to have you guys at the retreat. Again, we have a limit on it. So we will open up applications later, but I'm happy to take any questions. Let's see if I can keep up with the chat here. Yes, we can double occupancy with a business friend. That's no problem because we, we definitely want to provide the opportunity for as many people, although we have a limited capacity as possible. So double occupancy, but I do suggest that we have, and our limit is no more than two people per inside the organization, because we want to get a good cornucopia of different people from different areas in the country so that they have something to share and something in common, but also differences, because differences, I feel like is where we're really going to tease out and learn from each other. Wonderful. Well, as you guys know, I never like to take up the full hour, so I do appreciate you listening. And for those who are listening to the recording, that would be awesome as well. Um, you guys are welcome to reach out to me if you're interested. Would love to get you all part of it. And with that, we will stop recording and I'll let you guys get about your day.